Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today we're going to talk about the ultimate USB for cybersecurity. So if you're a cybersecurity professional, a student, or just someone who's interested in the cybersecurity space, you might want to check out this USB. I do have these available for sale, so you can pick one up so you don't have to do any configuration on your own. However, I also have a playlist or a series on my channel where I walk you through building a multi-boot USB. If you haven't checked that out and you're interested in building your own, please consider checking out that playlist. Just go to my channel and check out the USB playlist. So this is a Ventoy front end. I want to show you a couple things here. You might notice on the bottom, towards the bottom right there, there is a blue graphic or text that says UEFI. I've built multiple background images to uh, distinguish whether you are in UFI or BIOS mode. Sometimes that's helpful when you're trying to boot certain images. Also, the QR code at the bottom right there will get you to my channel. So yeah, once you boot into the USB, guys, you're going to have four different categories. The first one being antivirus and rescue. So in this, I've included a Vera. These are all live, so you can boot into them and do a scan, analysis, scrub, removal of malware, malware on your particular device. So I've included the Avera Rescue, the Komodo Rescue, Dr. Web Live, ESET System Rescue, and the Kaspersky Rescue. Next one's going to be Forensics. So if you need to do some Forensics, these are three distributions you might want to boot. First one being Kane, second one being Depth Zero, and the third one being Santoku. On to the fun stuff, Offensive Security and Pen Testing. By the way, guys, I'm using an adapter HDMI to USB, so it throws off the resolution a bit. This menu will be um, fully visible. You won't have to scroll. It'll show the whole um, title when you boot to a piece of hardware without using this type of adapter. Anyways, offensive security, I've made a couple different subcategories, live plus install. This is the good stuff where you can run it live and then you have the choice of installing should you like that particular distro. The other one didn't the other ones did not offer the live option, so these are install only, but it does have Arc Strike and it has Demon Debian. Demon Debian has a couple things you need to do to actually get it running. So this will install the Debian distro, and then I've included notes. you got to run a few uh, lines from the command line to actually install Demon on top of it. I may do a video on that, but anyways, those are the two that are install only. So we go on to the best category, in my opinion, the Live Plus install. So you can run all these live. Some of them offer persistence, so you can save your stuff without installing. Next time you boot live, it'll be there. A little bit of additional configuration to get the persistence set up, but not too bad. Let's run through these. Athena OS. We've got Backbox. We've got Black Arc Slim. I'm sorry, Black Arc Full. So this is a massive one, over 20 gigs. Black Arc Slim, a little more um, commonly used, the Slim version. We've got Bug Track, Drac OS, Fedora Security, Kali Linux, Kali Linux Everything. This is slim, similar to the two different Black Arc versions. One is just way more jam-packed with utilities. Uh, and then we have NST, or Network Security Toolkit. Then we have Parrot Security, very popular, very well-rounded Parrot. And then we have Pentu, and the last but not least is Wi-Fi Slacks. So a lot of good choices here for pen testing and offensive security or ethical hacking. Um, let's see, let's go back to our main menu. The last on the list is privacy and security. These operating systems offer a very secure distribution. And a lot of them have an emphasis on uh, anonymity or being anonymous when you're out there on the internet. So if you want to stay anonymous, you want to stay secure, a lot of these, or some of these, most of these would be a good choice. I think you get what I'm trying to say. Kadashi, that's one. PureOS is another choice. Cubes, RoboLinux, Silks, Scepter, Tails. A lot of you guys are probably familiar with Tails. Uh, and the last but not least is Tens. So a lot of powerful stuff here, guys. This USB um, is a USB 3, and it's 128 gigs, and it comes pre-configured with everything you see here, guys. So it's very powerful stuff. Uh, visit my store if you haven't checked it out. It is www.bootableusbs, that's usbs.com. I've got a few different jam-packed or fully loaded, ready-to-go USB drives that I offer. I've also got some merchandise from the channel there. I've got a uh, IT Unicorn coffee mug and a pair of socks. But again, guys, if you are interested in this USB, consider picking one up. If you don't want to pay for it, I get it. I mean, I've been there. If you don't have the money, that's fine. Consider following or following along with my playlist, and you can build your own pretty easily. 
Another thing to mention about any of my drives that you pick up, guys, well, I've done a lot of customization on it. By no means are they locked down. This stuff is totally open source, Ventoy. Feel free to go in there, guys, and you can modify anything you like from the background to the display to the folder structure and all the way to the actual distributions or images that are included on these drives. So for example, let's say you go into forensics and you're like, okay, I think uh, Santoku is garbage. Just get rid of it. Take it off there and guess what you can do? You can load your own operating systems, your own images. Ventoy supports multiple formats. The most common is ISO. They also support IMG, VHD. Uh, there's a few others. Um, so definitely take that into consideration if you either pick one of these up or build one. You can customize this to your heart's content. Um, you can add more categories. You can delete images. You can move them. You can add. Uh, your only restriction is going to be the capacity of the USB, which again is 128 gigs. So you got a ton of room there to uh, get things going. This takes up about a little over 100. So I have left you a little room on the stick if you just need to store certain things. Um, it's not going to break the USB. You can create a subfolder called whatever you want, stuff, storage, and you can put stuff on there. Um, or you can use a little bit of that space if you do enable the persistence on some of these live uh, operating systems that offer persistence. So again, I just want to share this with you guys. It's a new one that I've created. Uh, it is the ultimate cybersecurity USB of 2023. So consider checking it out, whether you build your own or whether you uh, hop on over to the shop and pick one up. If you do, thank you. I appreciate your support. And speaking of support, if you guys enjoy this type of content, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and go ahead and tap the subscribe button if you haven't done that. Um, I have a lot of content coming out and I really appreciate the support, guys. So thanks for tuning in uh, to this quick video. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want to see anything um, similar or if you want more information on any of this. I always respond to all the comments, so feel free to drop me one. Hope everyone has a great day. Until the next video, take care, guys.